Hello, beautiful soul family. Rebecca here, your vibe mentor, bringing you another video on how to raise your vibrations so you can live your best life. Welcome to Monday Magic Intuitive Energy Reading, where I give my take on how I am experiencing the energies because you are not alone. And sometimes it helps to hear that we are all in this together. And so when someone can point out something that you are experiencing or put words to or articulate something that you kind of sus suspected but didn't know for sure, it can be helpful. It is always helpful for all of us to remember we are not alone and we are all in this together. So my take on this past week or so and sort of what I'm experiencing today and where I can potentially see this going. Um, although I will preface, I don't claim to predict the future. It is more about a reading of the current energies and how they are being experienced. I often do kind of like to look back at the past week um, because it does help inform where we're at and the trajectory that we are moving in, right? And so I've heard from a lot of people this last week, there's a lot of um, distraction, difficulty focusing, sort of the scattered feeling. And in the uh, the Northern hemisphere in Wisconsin, we went two whole weeks without sunshine. So it really felt um, as if, the, and in, in general, the collective that we have felt without sunshine, felt without light in the last week or two. And that can be very difficult. It can weigh on our, our psyche and our mood, and it can make it, everything just seems a little bit more difficult. Certainly there has been a lot of illness going around as well, um, not only in my household, but in, in many others. And it's a difficult one. It's a tough one that it kind of sticks around for a long time. And I had it for about two and a half weeks. Um, and then my daughter got it. And then now my son has it. You may even hear him coughing in the background. Um, but it's, you know, there's, there's challenge, right? It's it, a general theme of um, things being a little bit harder, right? But the beauty is the sun is out today. And I have a very strong sense that things are good. Things are getting better. Things are moving in the right direction. Things are happening, right? And so you may be getting this sense of something good is just around the corner. I can feel it. I can sense it, but also have that, that doubt or that questioning, right? And can I trust myself? Can I trust this feeling? Is this really coming or am I just hoping that it's coming, right? That we want to be able to step into the trust, trust that there is a new beginning right around the corner. There always is, of course, but in this moment, something really big feels like it's shifting and to be able to trust ourselves. And when we can step into that trust, trust in ourselves, trust in the new beginning, then we can start to get a glimpse of the future. If you can rest in the openness of something's happening here and it's okay to get excited. Now, what's really fascinating is I have for many months now had a strong intuitive sense about the spring. Something is coming in the spring, March, April, May. Um, yeah, March, April, especially has really been in, in my awareness um, through external sources, as well as just my own knowing. Um, and of course, I'm careful because I'm in an April birthday. So, you know, I tend to really like the spring and I'm in a cold climate and it's been cloudy for two, two weeks. Um, but it's more than that. You know, I'm able to sort of separate out what's mine versus what is coming to me. And I've had this knowing and kind of felt like, okay, we're getting through, we just got to get through to the spring. And this realize, uh, realization in the last couple of days, last day or two, um, that you know these dots have started to connect already that are leading to the spring, but are happening now. That the relief has come in this moment, and that's gonna bridge us to the next moment where there's more relief and to that next moment where there's more relief. And it's as if the relief is already here, even though it hasn't fully arrived, that there's additional support that we, support is the best possible word that we are literally being carried or lifted into this new new era new realm new energy um and that things are already starting to come together and right? there's there's dots that are being connected and things are starting to make sense we're getting a strong knowing or or a sensation of what is coming and that it is here in a way already and there's growing clarity 
that even sometimes just the knowing of what's coming or or the um the ability to sense what's coming in and of itself brings relief right oh we can start to see oh okay i see how that's going to play out i see how that support is going to come through right and so if we allow ourselves to trust in this new beginning to trust that this is here and this is available to us and it's happening already then we will get that additional clarity and that additional sense of um, feeling the support, right? There is a propensity towards, like I said in the beginning, sort of what we were experiencing last week is that distraction, difficulty focusing, shiny object syndrome, right? In this effort to find the thing that's going to solve the problem, which of course is an ego attachment. So watch out for that we can sort of ping pong between different things and oh well maybe this is it maybe this is it maybe you should try this maybe we should try this right we create our vision board we set our intention on what we are driving towards and then all along the way we get distracted and we take our eye off the ball and that can happen very easily and i think that's why the guidance is to just really stay focused don't allow shiny object syndrome to create that sort of distraction and I'm sure you've noticed if you spend a lot of time on your phone or you're you're getting sucked into social media or you, you maybe you eat fast food or you have some alcohol, you you have um, you go out shopping right now because of the holiday season. There is a propensity towards that internal chaos that can be created by those kinds of situations. And so we don't want that. It, our focus is our strength. Our focus is our power. And so we really want to remain in control of where our focus and attention goes, right? Sustained focus and attention over time is how you win the game. You can't quit if you don't give up. And in the ping pong effect, when we are jumping to the next shiny object, there is a quitting that happens, right? Where we we take our focus away from what we're trying to build and what we're driving towards. And we drive towards this new thing because we can't focus on all the things, right? So the, the guidance was very, very strong to, to check your impulse control, right? And we, we do talk a lot about, you know, understanding your guidance and, and following, like if something feels good, right? You, you have to be discerning in how that feels good. Some, some people might say that sitting on the couch, eating a bag of potato chips and binging a Netflix series feels good, but that's not what we're talking about here. At the end of the day, you know, you will not feel good, right? We want to use our, our joy compass to help guide us towards the things that feel right, maybe not good, but right. And yet at the same time, be discerning, use impulse control to, to really get um, critical. Uh, yes, we want to take a critical eye at um, what is the driving force here? Is it really guidance? Will Is it really aligned? Does it feel right, not necessarily good, right? Because when we get that internal chaos going, right, it's, it's almost like the cells of your body are activated, Right. If you drink a, I don't know, like a an energy energy drink or something like that, you know that that feeling of uh, almost jittery. Right. There's a there's an internal chaos happening that will create that shiny object syndrome that will create the the distraction um, and and the lack of focus. And so we want to bring all that back to stillness. Take that deep breath. Settle into your body. Find true stillness, not forced, efforted, mindful uh, meditation where we're forcing our mind to be quiet, but we want to allow the processing that needs to happen to get the thoughts out of the way so that we can really rest in true stillness and check in and find out, is that really the guidance or have I allowed my nervous system to get activated, right? And so start taking a critical eye to your nervous system and really understanding where we're coming from and what we may be influenced by, right? So notice the external influences. Was it the food you ate? Was it the drink you drank? Was it shopping in, you know, the target that's 10 times busier than it normally would be, right? Fighting through these crowds where people have this, this manic energy about them, right? We have to really get clear on what we are being guided to and stay focused on that. So know that 
there there has been a general theme of of over activity, over busyness, um, having uh, just a very heavy, dense workload um, or a, a long to do list, I guess, is what comes to mind. It might be different for each of you, but just that general feeling of there's a lot to accomplish. There's a lot to do. And that is not um, that is not something that we are subject to. We do have the ability to control and shift and change that. And we are being asked to realign to our guidance and rebalance and stop trying to do too much. Prune back what is not absolutely necessary so that you can focus. And understanding that focus is your source of power. It is your currency. If you will notice that we are in a focus and attention economy, all those little red indicators, you know, the little red dot that says, you've got a message, you got to come check this. What a beautiful gift I had the other day of accidentally leaving my phone somewhere and I had to leave it there overnight. And it was amazing. It was awesome. And then even the next day I was with my son and I you know, said, I feel like I, I'm the kind of person that has to have zero in the inbox. Right. And I, I said, I I think I have a little OCD when it comes to these notifications. I feel like I always have to have them all checked. And I've told myself this story that I have clients and they rely on me and I have to be there for them. And he took my phone and he turned off all the notifications for things that really weren't important. There's maybe a three or four that still have notifications on, but everything else is turned off. And it was so beautiful, such a beautiful gift to have that time without my phone completely. And now every time I look at my phone, it's blank. There's nothing there. And I have taken my focus and attention back. That is my resource. That is my asset. That is my source of power. That is my currency that I decide how I'm going to spend. And it is no longer dictated by the Apple iPhone or any other app on it. Right. And so this is where it's, I was going to say, I'm not quite sure how these connect. And yet it was coming through that where we're going is going to require sustained focus and attention over time. And if you are part of this community, if you follow me, you know, I am here for you. Your purpose is my purpose. This channel is all about supporting purpose driven entrepreneurs. And so where we're going is going to require uh, extensive focus so that we can grow. And it's really all about creating the new earth, that it's up to us. We are the ones who are going to create the new systems, the new structures, the new um, governments, the new everything is needed. And we're going to have to get really critical on what our priority is individually so that we can create sustained attention and focus over time to allow this thing to grow. We are creators. That's our gift. That's what we're here to do. We can't do that if we're scattered and distracted and ping-ponging all over the place. Okay. All right. Ah, that feels good. That feels complete. All right. I love you guys. I will see you on the next video. Let me know how you're doing. I hope you are staying well and healthy. Drink lots of juice, lots and lots and lots of juice. It's so good for you. Drink light. It's amazing. Stay light, stay light, light and in love. Okay. I love you, my friends. I will see you on the next video. Take care. Namaste. Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas. <laughs>